I was eating out once, in a line waiting to order and pay, and the man directly in front of me was clearly struggling and destitute. He had a strong, very difficult odour coming from him. He was really in a mess. I waited as he took all these small coins from his pocket and placed them on the counter to pay for his meal. Without giving it too much thought, I offered to pay for his meal. He expressed his gratitude and took his food and went to sit down. When my order was ready, I too went to sit down and eat, and there were only two seats free, one in the distance and the other directly next to this man. And I remember thinking, what a fool I would be, so quick to give my excess change, but would I be with that man? Would I give him the gift of my loving presence? Find out his name, listen to his stories, share a meal with him. In the words of St. Teresa of Calcutta, Mother Teresa, we encounter Jesus in the distressing disguise of the poorest of the poor. He wants us not just to help them, but to know them, to love them, to journey with them, to laugh with them, to cry with them. And as you know, so many people who are materially poor are tremendously rich in many, many other ways. During Lent, God asks us to be generous in our almsgiving. It's not about giving what we don't need or want, or what's left over, or what we can do without. It might, and perhaps it should, cost us something. And if we have to go without this time, that's okay. We readily support the invaluable works of charity of the church, Project Compassion, the St. Vincent de Paul Society. This is our faith expressed in love, charity in action. But please do not tell yourself that you're off the hook by just giving a few dollars here and there. We need to open our eyes and hearts to our neighbours and to strangers, future friends. It could be as simple as cooking a meal for someone and leaving it for them, somehow paying it forward in a kind and hidden way. Yes, we need to get out of our comfort zone and engage with people who are perhaps incapable of asking for help. They are our brothers and sisters. Almsgiving is a work of justice pleasing to God. We love the poor for love of God and for their own sakes, for they are worthy. Let us pray. All provident Father, thank you for the privilege of sharing in your generosity. Give us a faith that sees Christ in everyone we encounter. Help us to be generous. We make this prayer through Christ our Lord. Amen. And may Almighty God bless you in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Jesus, I trust in you.